Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are reacting to uh, episode 5 of season 2 of The Legends of Vox Machina on Amazon Prime. Pass Through Fire. Uh, last we left off, Voxeldon made his deal with the Matron of Ravens and the group got out of the temple uh, with a lot of things set into motion now that Vox has a vestige. And actually, something I forgot to talk about last episode... Uh, Ripley saw them have it, and she has an eye on them with her scrying ball, which I totally forgot. That's where Keyleth got her scrying ball from, now that I'm talking about it. Uh, that's going to be fun when they have it. Now they have to go find Osisa's mate uh, with the information given by the Vestige, and I'm hoping they get through that this episode. That way the next episode they can get another Vestige, maybe go to West Run and deal with that stuff there. Uh, but we will see. I think I said this in the previous episode, but each one keeps blowing my mind and taking my breath away. I've been invested in this world for so long and just experience it through the tabletop. Now experience it like on a screen and seeing it animated and so much work and love put into it. This this is the Dungeon Master's dream. Like I'm working on my own personal D&D world that my players are, you know roaming around in and i am putting a lot of love and effort into it and oh my god i would cry if i ever saw it animated one day so i gotta feel jealous at matt a little bit uh but without further ado let's get into the episode and in, into the reaction wait <gasps> that's that's her mom that's uh vilia and wait this is zephra it looks so fucking amazing! That's her dad, too. Okay, so they're both half-elves. Well, in the game, Keyleth is a half-elf. I don't know if it's still her being a half-elf in the show. But if I remember the D&D uh, &D logic, uh, two half-elves can make another half-elf, not like a quarter elf or something like that. Don't show me baby Keyleth crying, y'all! The air calling to her? No. Nothing. No, you're right. It's fine. I didn't mean to. Oh shit. So they're probably gonna stop by Pyra before they go to her the mates. Okay, I get the order structure now. Oh no. This is Grog we're talking about. Oh no. Oh shit, we're having a full ass conversation now. For blood, all that matters is. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. My hunger always. <sighs> Man, I sympathize with that. They're probably gonna stop by the fire, Shari. That's gonna be fucking devastating. What the fuck is that? No, leave me alone. By the way, that sound was from the original uh, intro opening. Are you okay? Sorry, I must have dozed off. Good thing you and me ain't Oh my god! <laughs> they are so adorable. Feel better? Oh shit! Fuck! God damn it! Scanlan, the fire shari could be in trouble. Then they'll have to deal with it themselves. Oh shit! Sorry, Keyleth, but Osisa's instructions were very clear. Uh. Yeah, fuck y'all. She's gonna go help our family. You could go after her if you. Had a flying brew. <laughs> All of tell we can't detour every time we see someone in trouble. Why not? Someone in trouble? It's her people. Brother, Keyleth would drop everything to help us. Especially you. Yeah, don't be a dick. Oh my god. Ooh, girl! Okay. 
Her father! Oh, yeah, I remember. Dad? Ooh, yeah, about that. <laughs> what did this to Pyra? There are so many dead. The rift to the fire plane was torn open. That's... You remember Sir Konos? Of course. Mm hmm there he I is. You, Headmaster. And you, Keyleth. I came as soon as I could, but our brothers and sisters were already decimated. <sighs> if we can but... find a way to close the rift soon, the fire dominion will consume ours and remain open forever. Dad, I, I don't know if I... We're lucky you came. You've been on your Aramente. Oh, fuck. Far beyond ours. Are you going to tell him? You would think. The fire tamers need our magic to seal it. Mm, she ain't going to tell him. Kima! No freaking way, Kila. Kima? Halura. Oh! Oh, that makes sense. We're very much alive. Where's the rest of your team? You know what you fight fire with? Fire. Me. <laughs> oh, Pokeball! Ooh. Word, please. Just say yes to that favor and it's all yours. I hope you fall into lava, asshat. Well, there wasn't a no. If we fetch your friends, can you buy us some time? I mean, we can certainly try. <laughs> hey, they said it! We knew if Thordak was free, it meant the rift was open. Oh, she's gonna talk about it. Okay. If he came through Pyra? How did you even know it was him? Because we are the reason he escaped. Years ago, Kima and I battled Thordak Ooh. with a group not unlike yours. In a desperate attempt, we got hold of an ancient artifact. The soul anchor. Yep. And decided to bind him to it. Like an arcane tether, it pulled Thordak into the fire plane. Imprisoning him there forever. Or so we thought. Then he installed that shit in him. And yeah, we'll see later on. Fuck! Yeah, tell him. You gotta tell him, Kiki. You're as strong as your mother. Maybe even mm. stronger. It may be true, but she doesn't believe it yet. <gasps> no! You don't point yourself at fucking her, you little bitch. I need higher ground. Okay, fine. It's Volantir. Volantir? <laughs> that sounds familiar. That's more like it. <gasps> Come on, Killer Pull this deep. Come on, Kiki. Just like with the Briarwoods. Keyleth is like secretly. Or not secretly, she is the most fucking powerful member. She's also the only full caster. Oh, the fire plane. Oh, no city of brass. Not yet. Don't pull away. Only if I let it. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! She's got elemental mode! Ooh. Yep, banished. Hey! Oh, my child. I thought... I'm okay, Dad. Thordak escaped with aid from someone posing as one of our own. Mm-hmm. You sure you trust those around you? And truly know their hearts? I trust them with my life. I know who the little bitch is, but I won't say shit. Mind telling us how you did that? Traveling between planes. It could be handy. 
Think you could do it again? <laughs> Only one way to find out. I couldn't have asked for better companions for my dear Keyleth. Until we meet again, please take care of each other. <laughs> Especially that one. <laughs> uh, hey, Dad, that's got embarrassed here. Charging into the fray. So this mm -hmm. one can heal. Aww. Plus, we gotta check on what happened to Singorn. The whole city just bugged out when dragons showed up. Elves. Skittish bunch of bastards. Mm -hmm. Now that's his son, yes. pretty sure. This gold pleases us under the reign of the Chroma Conclave. A reign that will sadly be short lived. Unless oh, is she gonna snitch? You care to hear what I have to say? That's a little different. Oh, uh, that was an episode. I totally fucking spaced on Pyra. Because they didn't really go much into Keyleth's stuff all throughout season one, really. And a little bit into season two. I totally forgot that, like, Pyra and the other ones existed. I wonder if they're ever going to go to the Earth um, Ashari then. Because... If I remember correctly, Earth Ashari was uh, Arc 1 in the campaign, and that was like in the time frame that I didn't really watch. There's some first few episodes of campaign, one I skipped, and for those who know why, you know why. Um, but yeah, I totally forgot her mother. Holy shit. And I get why she was afraid, with spoilers, her mother never returning. By the way, usually, um, probably spoilers for campaign one, two, and three, whenever I have these after conversations, I'll do my best to always remember to say it, but this, this whole fucking reactions, it's a big spoiler thing. I'm going to do my best not to spoil anything for this though. Um, but seeing her level up basically and get some, I feel like everybody's going to go through their own arc and then get their own specialized gear. So... Everybody's going to get prepped and they're going to go take the Chroma Conclave. And then in West Run, seeing the the Storm Herd, Storm Herd, I think it is, uh, seeing, I think that's Grog's cousin. We didn't see his uncle yet. And then Anna with her snitching about the crew to the dragons. That's a new turn. I didn't expect that. And I don't know if that happened. In the, I don't feel like it happened in the original. I feel like she was doing her own thing most of the time. So I wonder how that's going to affect uh, them getting their vestiges. Because now Thordak and all the others are going to know what they're up to since Ripley's working with them. Huh. That's that's gonna be. An, that's gonna be. I'm glad they took different steps. That way, it always keeps me on my toes. That way, I don't fully know what's going to happen next. Though, also for Keyleth, she now has elemental forms and also plane shift, which that will take us to so many different places I'm so excited to see. I wonder if they're going to call the Feywild the Feywild and the Shadowfell the Shadowfell, because I don't know if those are D&D coin terms. I know like fire plane, water plane, air plane, earth plane, those are all like a generalized in all honesty. There's no, you can't really copyright, you know, fire plane. And if not, they're going to change it to, like, Fire Realm. Not that hard to do. Uh, but, yeah. And seeing Vax so focused on mission, he was laser-focused in, and I think that's exactly what the, the Matron's trying to drive him to be, because the Matron's very, like, on-point person, and she wants her champions to be so as well. She's, you know, she's sort of cold, but she's also the person who walks you over from death and is also, like, the goddess of fate. So she is very, you know, story-driven and doesn't like side quests, if that makes sense. <sighs> but with that said, if I missed anything uh, and you want to talk about it or if you want to ask me any questions about my knowledge about D&D or anything else, nerd related you can go ahead and ask them down in the comments 
And if you check out my description, it'll have a link tree that has access to my Discord and all my other socials. So if you want to come join that and also chat with me there about any nerdy stuff you want to talk about, uh, you can do that also. Uh, also, you can check out my Patreon, where next month in February, <laughs> I'm going to be uh, posting podcasts and review videos. Uh, and for those who have the $10 tier, you're going to get them a week early. For those with the $5 and $10 tier, you're going to get content suggestion priority. So if you want me to react, uh, play, or do any certain thing, uh, you're going to have you know priority over people who don't pay just to support me as a content creator. Uh, if you did like it, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you would feel so kind to please subscribe and show some support to the channel. Anything that you guys do, I love. And I thank you all for everything you give me. And I am putting the best I can as an amateur content creator into all my content. That while I'm also working a full-time job and also still writing a full D&D campaign. So... You think after I left college, it would uh, be easier, but it's not. <laughs> it's uh, basically walking out of the fire, fire pan into the fire, as Gandalf said. But this is Cyber Warlock signing off, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.